Every few years, a major weather event, El Niño, hits Galapagos. And many scientists think they're getting stronger with climate change. During El Niño, marine nutrient levels drop and the algae dies, directly impacting on marine iguana numbers. In 1983, 60% of them were lost across Galapagos. And on some islands in 1998, a staggering 90% of them died. Greg's been tracking some of the remaining individuals and measuring them. In doing so, he's observed something remarkable. It appears that they are actually, at least some of them, are getting shorter in order to survive El Nino events. If you're smaller, you're going to need less food, you're going to expend less energy, and your odds of surviving are going to be significantly better. We're not talking about animals that are just getting smaller in terms of their size, like someone who loses weight. They're actually shortening, and that's really unheard of in animals with backbones. In addition to being able to shrink, they can grow again, sort of like an accordion. To explore how the iguanas alter their size so dramatically, the team is going to do something never attempted before. X-ray the iguanas with this cutting edge portable machine. No one's ever radiographed marine iguanas in the field like this. To do this, the team first needs to catch a marine iguana off of the slippery rocks by the sea. It's a perfect first iguana for this. These animals are, are really pretty relaxed. Some animals, when you put them on their back, they go into a trance. Chickens do this, alligators do this, and fortunately, marine iguanas do. The behavior of playing dead discourages predators. It's 78.3. Are you ready, Andy? Yes, I'm ready. You better be a good iguana. I'm not going to try to do any restraint on him, OK, Andy? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, three. Good catch. Got your little butt. By X-raying the skeletons of these iguanas, Greg will be able to confirm how they achieve their incredible transformation. His plan is to return and x-ray the same individuals. And by comparing the data, he'll be able to see how these reptiles might break down and rebuild bone tissue. All right, buddy. You picked a great one. <laughs> yeah, you got a good one. See you, buddy. This research is revealing just how quickly these animals are responding to challenges.